This year, thousands of medical school applicants will apply to allopathic and osteopathic medical schools in Texas via three different application systems. Understanding Texas medical school admission statistics will help you determine how competitive you are for admission. I'm Dr. Jessica Friedman, founder and chair of MedEdit's Medical Admissions. My team and I have worked with Texas medical school applicants, helping them get into Texas medical schools for over a decade. In this video, I'm going to review just how competitive it is to gain acceptance to medical schools in Texas. I will also offer a guide on how to complete the Texas Medical School application, TMDSAS, and how you can improve your chances of success. So let's get started now. There are 11 allopathic medical schools in Texas, and there are two osteopathic medical schools in Texas. How competitive are you for medical school admissions in Texas? Texas has a total of 13 medical schools, of which two, Baylor College of Medicine and University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, are in the top 30 medical schools in research and in the top 20 for primary care, according to U.S. News & World Report. Texas medical schools are competitive to get into, especially so for out-of-state students. Two of the most competitive medical schools are Baylor with a GPA of 3.92 and an average MCAT of 518, and the University of Texas Southwestern with an average GPA of 3.89 and an average MCAT of 516. For more information, I suggest you also read my recent article, Medical Schools in Texas. Now, let's discuss the different written components of the TMDSAS application. To complete the TMDAS application, you will need to compose a personal statement, employment and activities entries, as well as two additional essays. First, the personal statement, for which you are allowed 5,000 characters with spaces. TMDSAS has a very specific personal statement prompt which asks you to explain your motivation to seek a career in medicine. You are asked to include the value of your experiences that prepare you to be a physician. The personal statement offers the chance to tell your story and highlight your most valuable experiences on your path to medical school. TMDSAS also requires a personal characteristics essay, which is 2,500 characters with spaces. The prompt is, learning from others is enhanced in educational settings that include individuals from diverse backgrounds and experiences. Please describe your personal characteristics, background, talents, skills, etc., or experiences that would add to the educational experience of others. The part of this prompt that many students fail to address is the part about how your personal characteristics will help others' educations. Admissions committees want to know how you will contribute, in other words, as a medical student. There is one optional essay which TMDSAS strongly encourages applicants to complete, so we do not consider this essay optional. The TMDSAS optional essay prompt is briefly discuss any unique circumstances or life experiences that are relevant to your application which have not previously been presented. This is not an area to continue your essay or reiterate what you have previously stated. This area is provided for you to address any issues that have not previously been addressed. This essay also has a limit of 2,500 characters with spaces. You will also be required to compose employment and activities entries, which are 300 characters with spaces each. In each entry, you will briefly describe the experience. It is acceptable to use bullets given the stringent character limit. There are two TMDSAS items that are new for 2019. The first new section asks you to identify your three top meaningful activities, which are 500 characters with spaces each. The second new section, named Education and Training, asks students to write about the following in a thousand characters or less. First, if you self-identify as a non-traditional applicant, you are asked to describe the factors that have defined you as a non-traditional candidate and how they impact your application. Second, 
Write about any interruptions to your education or vocation. Finally, write about any disciplinary action in this section. If you are applying to medical school in Texas via AMCAS or AA Comus, keep in mind the personal statement for both systems is 5,300 characters. Even though the character limits for all three systems are similar, we suggest you compose a distinct personal statement for each system, however, if that is possible. How can you increase your chances of getting accepted to a Texas medical school? Getting into medical school is tough, regardless of whether you are an in-state or out-of-state applicant. First, you need to determine whether your GPA and MCAT score is competitive, as mentioned previously in this video. If your numbers are slightly below averages for accepted students in your cohort, you need to make sure that your personal statement reflects your passion for medicine, while also highlighting your distinctive qualities and experiences. You should also take advantage of the two additional TMDSAS essays by emphasizing different aspects of your background, your values, and your ideals than you did in your personal statement. If you are an out-of-state applicant applying to Texas medical schools, you absolutely need to have a competitive application overall. Medical schools with secondary essays will offer another opportunity to set yourself apart from other applicants. Remember, assuming your MCAT and GPA meet medical school cutoff screening thresholds, your written application as a whole must be compelling and intriguing so the admissions committee reviewer is inspired to invite you for an interview. This year, MedEdit students who worked with us comprehensively enjoyed a 93% medical school acceptance rate. If you also want help figuring out how to distinguish yourself, please contact us. We have been working with Texas medical school applicants for more than 10 years. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share with others. Also be sure to read my books, The Med Edits Guide to Medical School Admissions and The Med Edits Guide to the Medical School Interview. I hope to see you soon.